the iOS app for the next base series 2 dash cams has been released to date so I'm going to go through now and have a quick look at how to set it up on my dash cam. Um, on my right hand side I've got an iPhone, I've already downloaded the app, it's available in the app store, just search for next base um, and you're looking for the my next base connect app. So I've downloaded, got that installed and I'm now just clicking on um, the app and loaded it up. Got the camera here and um, it's powered up via usb and um, just so i can keep power on the install um, it's not recording at the moment so i'm just going to click the setup button and go to the settings and um, let's have a look what we're looking for i suspect um, we're going to go into connect apps there we go and we've got my next base there um, so i'll click that on the device first and we're going to click next on the phone Hopefully we're going to get a little bit of advice on what to do. Um, so it's searching for the dash cam. And it's saying here we need to set up the phone. Okay, we download the app. And we click OK. And there we go. Um, we have app needs to be installed to connect. And here we've got to select your dash cam to, be to begin 4222W. And that's when I've got. Um, so I click on that. Looks like it's brought up the Bluetooth um, connection setting there. Um, so we can have a look at bringing that up. Um, next base 422GW, click on that. And so now we've got the Bluetooth pairing request. And you can see the numbers the same on both here. Um, click OK on the dash cam. This is extra secure, security, I suppose, just to stop anyone from just peering to your device or you peering to someone's phone. And we're off connecting between the two. Do I want to allow notifications? I'm going to go yes for that um, and get that set up ready. We're doing checking for updates. We have not found any. And it's also seen there, it's checked for the firmware on the dash cam as well for me. Um, so I can see there that that um, is set up correctly. Just going to go into settings there and just get rid of the um, screen on there. Dash cam connected, click continue, and we're into the main um, settings here. I'm not going to set Alexa up just this time, I might no do another video on that later. Um, we've got a couple of things on here, so we've got a dash cam button at the bottom here, and you can see some of the videos. And now it's trying to connect via Wi-Fi, so it'll be connecting to the local Wi-Fi between the, um, the the dash cam and the phone. So the dash cam has set up its own little Wi-Fi network, so I'll join that. That's obviously going to drop me off my main Wi-Fi, um, so um, I won't be able to get internet access or anything at like that, I suspect. And it's connected. So actually, we've got some video footage here. Uh, might be quite useful to have a quick look at. Um, let's just pick one. Um, it's actually, actually, here's um, some rear view footage here. Okay. And you can see that playing there. And we'll just go back on that one. Um, so all the footage is in there. Um, you can see it's split rear and front um, on there as well. Um, so a little bit of quick front footage there. I'm not finding any way of muting this at the moment. Um, some good footage within it, including the map where I'm driving as well. Spot that. So that's working really well for quick access to the footage. I did see one comment in one of the forums about if you're using um, your phone and your dash cam and also got um, Apple CarPlay in your phone that can mess around with the Wi-Fi settings. So that's something to be a little bit careful of and keep an eye on. If I click the home button there takes me back, starts up the live view um, just give that a second and see if that brings up because I'm not actually in live view on the dash cam at the moment maybe if I just drop back out of there and give it a go on live view, no, not available at the moment um, has also dropped my Wi-Fi so I'm back on 4G there, I have a look see whether that's done anything to the Wi-Fi a bit later on um, in the library options and nothing showing in there and emergency SOS 
Um, okay, interesting. Um, thanks for choosing to use ESOS. Please check with your app store soon for an updated version of this app. So the app um, isn't obviously letting you set ESOS settings in there. According to the manual, that includes things like um, your name, your blood type, and things like that that get passed to the emergency services um, should you want them to get passed in the event of an accident. Just going to go back home now, see if we can get live view working. Obviously, from the rear camera there, you're seeing up um, through to my ceiling. Okay, yep, yeah. um, live view's working. Looks like it's only showing through the front um, camera there. That's the app setup, not too bad. If you're doing this from a new device, you'll actually get these menus um, as you're going through the setup and the initial setup. Have a look at my initial setup video to see how that does. Um, thanks very much. Uh, more videos to come soon.